Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Muradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Kyiv, Ukraine. And in today's video, we're actually going to talk about some um, luxury things I do not recommend investing in, just because these things are either not really quality items, or they are not comfortable, or they're proven not to wear well, whatever, whatever. So all of these things actually come from actual experience from me and my clients' experiences and what I know of their experiences with these things so this is a tried and true test of the things that I do not recommend investing in in terms of luxury stuff and it's actually I think really important just to notice always the things that don't work for you especially if you're wasting a lot of money on those things because I love luxury items I, I love luxury fashion market it's absolutely amazing but uh, I am a person who firmly believes in balance in terms of always keeping it real and also I'm all about like mixing it up in terms of like uh, luxury but also mass market and middle market so it's absolutely okay to have all of those things in your closet and I'm totally okay with uh, sometimes buying you know like a t-shirt from mass market or a dress or like a pantsuit or whatever whatever as long as it's a quality item so the main component over here in this video is actually something that is not a really good piece for your wardrobe in terms of quality or the way it wears or whatever so let's just start with it And uh, the first thing I think it's it's something that I think everybody in the fashion industry already knows, and it's Louboutin Pigalle heels. Those are <laughs> killers, actual killers for your feet. They're the worst. So in terms of the way your foot actually sits in the shoe, it's absolutely crazy and soul crushing to wear them for longer than for example like two minutes and also to walk in them is absolutely impossible it's just those heels are destined to be pretty sit on a shelf in your closet or be worn standing down and that's like the only thing you can do in them just like stand and that's it for two minutes and then they kill your feet so Unless you're planning to kill your feet, unless you're planning to do a photo shoot and you need these specific shoes and it's not like, like a necessity in your wardrobe because the heel is really high and also there are so many other brands, shoe brands as well, that do amazing like classic black heels that actually fit your feet amazingly and actually work for you and are comfortable etc etc. So it's not necessarily a need to have these specific shoes in your closet as long as you as something you want is always comfort this is not the shoe for you and i do not recommend it so all my clients that actually have purchased this shoe prior to meeting me ended up having this shoe on their shelf or in a box in their closet and never wearing these shoes because they're so uncomfortable and also the heel is just too high it's absolutely impossible to walk in them they're not really like useful in your everyday life and I think also it's really interesting because nowadays people are especially women obviously women first are leaning towards wearing less heels and more flat shoes I think it's absolutely okay so in these days or like in this day and age it's absolutely unnecessary to buy a shoe that doesn't fit you and makes you like feel a lot of pain being a lot of pain and uh, i don't believe in the myth and like this whole thing about beauty being about the pain i do not believe in this thing at all i think fashion and your personal style is always about your personal comfort first and then expressing your individuality and this is not a thing to do neither of those things at all so just beware and if you have them it's absolutely okay but if you're thinking of investing in a pair of one like these i absolutely do not recommend these at all and the next thing we'll talk about are actually something that i own and i love but i'll explain just in a sec why they're in this list so those are loro piana suede shoes and they're like a uh, loafer mocassin 
hybrid. They are absolutely amazing, really comfortable. But the thing with this, especially if you're buying them in a lighter suede, like a light beige suede, what ends up happening, even if you spray them with a ton of like water protection spray, whatever, whatever, they get really muddy and really dirty. And the suede ends up being like very worn out really fast. And also the shearling that's in those, if you buy like a pair for winter, ends up wearing really bad, unfortunately, most of the time. So this is concerning the pairs that are in a lighter, tone suede so if you're buying them in black or in dark brown or whatever whatever dark gray it's absolutely okay but light beige even though that's the most popular color of theirs and it looks absolutely amazing it wears the worst so just just a heads up the next thing is the popular nowadays Balenciaga like a gold bag and as much as it's popular and trendy and looks really cool etc etc this is a trend that's going to pass really soon it's very special and unique in terms of like texture and color and like details that goes into it it's not a simple bag it's not your basic everyday bag for most people at least so unless this is something that is definitely a continuation of your personal style and you see and you envision yourself wearing it years and years after this and you feel like this is something that is going to fit your wardrobe in the next year and year after that unless this is you i do not recommend investing in this bag because it's pricey and because it's so trendy and because it's been worn so much just like previously like five years ago was balenciaga triple s to a point where this thing becomes kind of like a cliche in and of itself like it's just too much of everything in a bag and especially nowadays so unless this is something that is a part of your style i do not recommend investing in this bag the next thing is an lv or louis vuitton never full and hear me out this is an absolutely beautiful practical bag but the thing is with specifically louis vuitton never full it's been copied and uh, there's so many fakes in the world of this specific bag like no other bag in the world it's the most copied most faked most duped bag in the world so unless this is again something that's a continuation of your style opt for something different because there's so many beautiful amazing brands with shoppers for example there's YSL shopper there's Celine shopper uh, there's a beautiful um, Longchamp shopper so there's so many options for you to go for if you're willing to invest in a specific shopper bag so it's not necessarily something you need to buy like an LV never full if you own it amazing wear it if you don't own it think twice about purchasing this specific model because there's so many fakes and when you walk with a bag that's so copied it's like I think obviously some people might think this is a fake as well so Unless you're really unfazed about all of those thoughts of other people, obviously wear it and buy it. But if you're concerned about this specific topic, just go for something else. And the last thing I'll definitely share is, so I love Chanel as a brand and I love Chanel style, but Chanel bags have gotten not only pricier and pricier, just like other fashion designers and fashion houses because their prices go up every like half a year at least, even, I think even more often the thing with Chanel bags they're absolutely outpriced and the price per quality ratio is getting out of hand and the thing is with Chanel bags especially their pricing is kind of weird so sometimes you look at a bag and it's like 3,000 euros and another bag that's absolutely similar but it's a more classic model it's 5,000 6,000 euros and their prices are getting closer to Hermes prices and Hermes is obviously a totally different kind of luxury brand because they're so handmade there's there's so much detail that goes into each and every bag and I've been to I've been on a press tour with Hermes in Paris and I've been to their atelier so I've seen the way people actually so masters and professionals actually create these bags by hand so it's it's absolutely ridiculous how much time goes into one bag so think of this and then think of a Chanel bag that 
like is produced in masses actually so to me chanel at the moment is absolutely a luxury mass market brand unfortunately because there's so many things that are being produced and sold so it's not that unique but for example a classic flap bag by chanel is sold for six thousand euros which is ridiculous because it's been sold for three thousand euros like a couple years before that so a price increase that is twice the price in two years is absolutely crazy I don't think it's worth it. What I think I'd suggest going instead actually because I absolutely love this type of bag is going to the vintage market because their prices are much better and the quality of these things that are vintage are much much better because prior to these days these bags were covered so the hardware was covered in actual 24 karat gold as opposed to now and also the leather was absolutely an amazing quality you can definitely see the way these bags that are 20 30 30 years old are in perfect pristine condition and that's a testament to the quality that was there before so definitely think of a vintage market prior to buying something from Chanel that could be found in the vintage market because you'll get a better price obviously also better quality and I have a soft spot for vintage because vintage pieces have some history to them. I absolutely also weirdly and funny enough love vintage things smell and the way they smell. I know some people hate it. I absolutely love it because it also reminds me like of uh, my grandma's closet or whatever. So like this very, very like sentimental smell of like older pieces. So always go for vintage. It's going to give you more quality, better price and like more history overall and uh, let me know in the comments below what are the luxury pieces that you're seeing now for example in the fashion market in the fashion industry that are trendy or not trendy whatever that you think are not worth investing in let me know in the comments below and uh, i'll see you in the next video bye